How about one more hand for senior Elena DeWitt. Next, number 11, Emma Dallas. Emma is joined this evening by her mom, Billy Dallas. sister, Ellie Dallas. Let's hear it for Emma. Next, please welcome senior number 14, Chloe Pruitt. <laughs> Chloe is joined by her mom, Jamie Pruitt, and her dad, Andy Pruitt. Let's hear it again for Chloe Pruitt. Next, please join me in welcoming number 15, Abigail Bunty. Abby is escorted tonight by her mom, Chris Bunty, and her dad, Jeff Bunty. Number 20, Sydney Ward. Sydney is joined tonight by her mom, Tracy Ward, and her dad, Michael Ward. Let's hear it for Sydney. Next up, number 21, Savannah Orgeron. Savannah is joined tonight by her mom, Samantha Orgeron, and her grandma, Sandra Paul.
Let's give it up for Sam. And finally, please welcome Kennedy Granadino. Kennedy tonight is also supported by her mother, Kara Granadino, and her dad, Greg Granadino. On behalf of all the fans of the MSHS girls basketball and all of the coaches past and present, thank you seniors for all that you've done for Muhammad Seymour girls basketball. Folks, let's give it up one more time for this great group of seniors. Congratulations, seniors.
Good evening, Bulldog Nation, and welcome to Muhammad Seymour High School for tonight's varsity girls basketball contest between the Muhammad Seymour Bulldogs and the visiting Charleston Trojans. Charleston comes in at 2 and 18, Bulldogs 18 and 7. Bulldogs, the heavy favorites here. It is senior night for Muhammad Seymour. Shout out to our seniors, Durbin Thomas, Elena DeWitt, Emma Dallas, Chloe Pruitt. Abby Bunting, Sydney Ward, Savannah Orgeron, Kennedy Granadino. We got a bunch of them. It is their night here in the main gym. Thank you for tuning in to Bulldog TV. I'd like to thank the crew tonight. Rody is on the controls. We've got Alex Ziegler and Mackie on the cameras. And then we got uh, Big RZ running the scoreboard. So we've got about... A minute and 17 left, so the national anthem and everything will happen here momentarily. But thank you for tuning in to Bulldog TV. We'll be back with the play-by-play -play here momentarily. an invitation to leave our facility for the evening. Adults, please remember you are role models for your children and our athletes. Again, we're here to cheer for our teams, not against anyone else. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. If you do have questions or concerns this evening, please contact one of our administrators at tonight's contest. Now, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we would ask all persons in to please stand Gentlemen, kindly remove your caps for the playing of our national anthem. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please join in the singing of our national anthem. <laughs>
Tip things off here between uh, Muhammad Seymour and Charleston Bulldogs versus the Trojans. Bulldogs won handily earlier this season back in December. Bulldogs with the tip. Durbin Thomas with the ball. She swings it over to Bunting. Down to Pruitt. Swing pass. Order on behind the arc for three. And she is on fire already. She never cooled off from the last game. Bulldogs up early, 3-0. And a steal here by Bunting. No contest here for Bunting, uncontested. And the Bulldogs take a 5-0 lead. Seven twenty left. Senior night here at Muhammad Seymour High School. Here come the Bulldogs again. Nice dish to Savannah Orgeron. Off the glass and in the bucket. Stay tuned post game. We'll have the Coach Risley post game show. Rumor has it he's going to bring all of his seniors up. Figure out. All that after the game. Usually brings up a couple. He's going to bring all seven or eight of them. Should be a good time. Stay tuned after the game. And a battle for the ball here. Charleston that retains possession. Myers call with the ball. And it's going to be a travel call. Waldinger with the ball. Swings it over to Durbin Thomas. Down to Chloe Pruitt in the corner trying to find Durbin down low. She does. Bulldogs kick it out and move it around. Durbin Thomas, same spot Savannah was, but that one's no good. Good hustle there by the Bulldogs, but Charleston comes away with it. Logsdon with the ball for the Trojans. And a steal by Bunting. Bunting, one of the lead Bulldog defenders, missed the layup. And Durbin Thomas. The 17 foot jumper, nothing but the bottom of the net. Bulldogs up 9 0, 5 44 left in the first quarter. Wardron in the paint, dishes it off to Waldinger, up and under the basket, and she is stuffed by Elizabeth Sweeze.
Bulldogs patient on offense. They like to work the ball around, try to find something inside like they did there to Ordron. Dumps it off to Pruitt. Pruitt traveled. A battle underneath. Trojans looking to get on the board. Down 9-0 with 4.57 left in the first quarter. And the Bulldogs steal the pass, and here they come. Bunting on the line. No good. Tipped out by Orderon. Durbin with a jump shot, and that is good. Durbin Thomas with four points. Savannah Orderon with five points for the Bulldogs. And Abby Bunting with the other two points. Nice pass by Durbin Thomas to Savannah Orgeron. Those two seniors have connected for many, many years. They got a good feel for the game and each other on the court. Waldinger, she's behind the arc. Nope, no good. Rebound Durbin Thomas. Pump fake, drives the baseline, pulls up for the jumper. And a nice shot there by Durbin Thomas. Bulldogs up 15-0. And another still. Bunting. And it's good. Bulldogs in full control here. Hey, stay tuned post game. Coach Risley's going to bring up the entire senior class on his team. It should be interesting and fun. We'll see what happens. Stay tuned post game. Three pointer here, no good. I believe that's gonna be off. Nope. I thought Durbin touched it. We've got some subs coming in. Reese Gallier, number four, and number 11, Emma Dallas. Emma Dallas, one of the seniors, number 11. Three seniors on the court, Durbin Thomas, she just passed it, Savannah Orgeron, and then Dallas. Durbin Thomas, that's a three-pointer, no good. Up and over the basket. Trojan possession. Emma Dallas, senior, she is on the board. That's going to be a turnover. 19 nothing Bulldogs, 238. An interesting fact about the Charleston Trojans roster, there's no seniors on their roster. Two sophomores, four juniors, and the rest are freshmen. Wardron in the paint, pulls up. Does not get the shooter's touch on that one. Here comes Charleston. Charleston trying to get something going. Bulldog defense stuff. Blocked by Ordron, but goes out of bounds. Charleston ball. They'll try to get a get a look underneath here. Nice look there by Charleston. Just couldn't get the bucket to go. Bulldogs come away with it. Waldinger for three. Up. And it's good. Waldinger from downtown. Waldinger, a sophomore for the Bulldogs. And a block there by Ordron. Here comes Emma Dallas. And she double dribbled. Back on December 8th, the Bulldogs beat Charleston 68-16 to at Charleston. 22 to nothing. So 
So thanks for tuning in on Bulldog TV. We're glad you're here on senior night. Stay tuned post game. Coach Risley, post game show. He's going to bring up all the seniors. Not sure how that's going to go, but we're going to figure it out. Order on from the elbow, no good. One minute left here in the first quarter. It is all Bulldogs here in the main gym. There we go, nice little step by Kylie Waldinger. She's got five points. Orgeron's got seven. Durbin Thomas, who just got the steal, has six points. And now Waldinger adds to it. She's got seven points. And a foul on Charleston. It's going to be the first team foul. 27.1 seconds left here in the first quarter. Bulldogs coming off a loss here at home on Tuesday against Mount Zion. Mount Zion controlled most of that game, but the Bulldogs made a great effort in the fourth quarter to come back and nearly won it. There's Durbin Thomas for three. In and out. Rebound. Orgeron back up off the glass, and it's good. The clock ticks down here on the first quarter. 12 seconds left, and a steal by the Bulldogs. Orgeron, she pulls up for three, and it's good. And nothing but nylon for Savannah Orgeron. 31 to nothing after the first quarter. We'll let you watch the cheerleader performance here. It might be the most exciting thing to happen all night. Savannah Ordron, the leading scorer for the Bulldogs. She's got 12 of the 31 points. I'd like to thank our sponsors. Subway of Muhammad, Busey Bank, Jackson Construction and Restoration, D1 Networks, Christie Clinic, McDonald's of Muhammad, First State Bank of Forest, Andrew White Dentistry, FedEx, BSN Sports, Muhammad Animal Hospital, and the Muhammad Seymour Athletic Boosters. Thank you to the sponsors for Muhammad Seymour Athletics and Bulldog TV. We appreciate your sport. Without you, a lot of things are not possible. All right, second quarter is underway. And Elena DeWitt and Sydney Ward are in the game for the Bulldogs. Sydney Ward, number 20, and Elena DeWitt, number two. DeWitt with the ball. And we got a foul on Charleston. Wanna Kamlenti with the foul. Lena DeWitt, she can shoot from behind the arc. And she shows that she can. From downtown, Elena DeWitt. Burning down the nets here in the main gym. Three again, that one's off the back of the iron. And we're gonna have a foul going the other way. That's gonna be on Savannah Orgeron. She comes out, Chloe Pruitt back in, CP 14. Back 
And a turnover by Charleston. Ooh, a nice effort there by Fehrenbacher. Turned it over on the other end, but never gave up and came back and prevented two points there. Good hustle there by Fehrenbacher for the Trojans. She is a freshman. DeWitt, or not DeWitt, that's Durbin Thomas. Dallas in the paint, gets it to go. It's her first, fourth point, excuse me, of the night. And we got another foul on the Trojans. That's gonna be the third team foul. For the Bulldogs, we have Ellie Dallas. Elena DeWitt's at the free throw line. We've got Ellie Dallas, and we've got Emma Dallas on the court for the Bulldogs. Emma is a senior. Ellie is a sophomore. Elena DeWitt, their second free throw. It is up. And no good. For three, it's up, and it's good. Elena DeWitt with six points. Elena DeWitt, also a senior. Shot is no good by the Trojans. Dallas for the Bulldogs. Their first points of the night. 440 left. Bulldogs up 41 to nothing. Let's see if we can get Charleston on the board here. And they're gonna have two shots from the free throw line. Emma Dallas with the foul. Third team foul. Reese Gallier into the game for the Bulldogs. Annie Logsdon at the line for the Trojans. And they are on the board. Sydney Ward drives, gets fouled.
Good effort by the Bulldogs, but a turnover. And here come the Trojans. Ooh, almost. That was a drive by Akrazinki. Sydney Ward pulls up for a jumper, no good. Battle for the rebound. There's a battle for the rebound, and Chloe Pruitt and another Bulldog and the Trojan were going for the ball, and I think in the, in the tussle, I think Chloe Pruitt got hit on top of the head. Maybe not by a elbow, but something happened there. She appears to be okay. Ava Yakel into the game for the Bulldogs, number 24. She is a freshman. We'll see a lot of Bulldog tonight. Ava Yakel pulls up, partially blocked. Good defense there by Charleston. Dallas for three. Oh, no. In and out. Emma Dallas in for Ellie Dallas. Three minutes left in this first half. Bulldogs up 41 to one. Reese Geyer comes away with it. Elena DeWitt pushes it up for the Bulldogs. Elena DeWitt for three, short. But it's off a Trojan. And Bulldogs retain possession. In for the Trojans. Wanek Clemente, number 33. She'll try again, no good. Reese Geyer, left-hander, pulls it up. Swish. Three or a nice jump shot there by the sophomore Reese Geyer. First points of the night. Two minutes. Two uh, left in the first half. A turnover by Charleston. Savannah Ordron and Durbin Thomas back into the game. In for outcome, Yakel and Reese Geyer. Dallas for three. Hey, there we go. Emma Dallas with a three-pointer. Nice shot by Emma Dallas. Emma Dallas has seven points for the Bulldogs.
Sydney Ward takes it to the hoop. Nice defense there by Logston. And a steal. Savannah Orgeron tips it away. Dover Thomas came up with it over to DeWitt. Layup's no good. Good hustle by Dallas to kick it back out. Orgeron takes it to the hoop. She's got hammered, but she's not going to get that call in this game. Sydney Ward. Sydney Ward, the senior with the three-pointer. And the bench goes crazy. Nice shot there by Sydney Ward. I believe all the seniors are in the scoring column. 20 seconds left in this one, or at least in the first half. Ten seconds left. Bulldogs trying to get another bucket here. DeWitt pushes it up. Off the glass, no good. Orgeron gets it to go. Three seconds left. So we go into the halftime with Bulldogs up 51 to 1. Orgeron, the leading scorer for the Bulldogs with 14 points. Emma Dallas with seven points. Durbin Thomas and Elena DeWitt with six points. So we've got about 10 minutes here in halftime. We're going to take a commercial break, and we'll be back in just a moment. You're watching Bulldog TV. The Muhammad Seymour High School Athletic Boosters are proud to continue their support of 20 sport programs that make up MSHS Bulldog Athletics. They thank you for your continued support, and go Bulldogs. At D1 Networks, we take our role in connecting, protecting, and monitoring businesses in Central Illinois very seriously. When you need us, we'll be there with service that sets the standard. From access control and structured cabling to video surveillance and fiber installation, we always strive to provide creative solutions to the ever-changing technology needs of our clients. Contact D1 Networks today. Visit our website or call us at 855-836-6363. Andrew White Dentistry is Muhammad's choice for quality dental treatment in a friendly environment. Dr. White is proud to serve his hometown of Muhammad from their new location at 1112 Broadmoor in Champaign. Call 217-359-5050 to set up an appointment today. Jackson Construction and Restoration is a family owned and operated company specializing in residential and commercial services. We have been serving Central Illinois for over 20 years. If you want to remodel a room, restore a deck, or even start fresh with a new house, Jackson is there. And in the times of need after any fire or storm damage, our team of experts is there to help you rebuild or restore your home. Call now for an estimate on your next project. FedEx Ground of Champaign is a proud sponsor of MSHS Athletics, who is committed to bringing you reliable delivery service. And they're hiring now. Visit the QR code on your screen to apply. Growing your family, opening your own business, retiring to travel, leaving your legacy. At Busey Bank, we know there's a lot to look forward to and a lot of planning along the way. Celebrate your life's milestones by putting your money to work. Busey Bank, building business, growing wealth since 1868. Member FDIC. Muhammad Seymour High School Athletic Boosters are proud to continue their support of 20 sport programs that make up MSHS Bulldog Athletics. They thank you for your continued support, and go Bulldogs! 
At D1 Networks, we take our role in connecting, protecting, and monitoring businesses in Central Illinois very seriously. When you need us, we'll be there with service that sets the standard. From access control and structured cabling to video surveillance and fiber installation, we always strive to provide creative solutions to the ever-changing technology needs of our clients. Contact D1 Networks today. Visit our website or call us at 855-836-6363. Andrew White Dentistry is Muhammad's choice for quality dental treatment in a friendly environment. Dr. White is proud to serve his hometown of Muhammad from their new location at 1112 Broadmoor in Champaign. Call 217-359-5050 to set up an appointment today. Jackson Construction and Restoration is a family-owned and operated company specializing in residential and commercial services. We have been serving Central Illinois for over 20 years. If you want to remodel a room, restore a deck, or even start fresh with a new house, Jackson is there. And in the times of need after any fire or storm damage, our team of experts is there to help you rebuild or restore your home. Call now for an estimate on your next project. FedEx Ground of Champaign is a proud sponsor of MSHS Athletics, who is committed to bringing you reliable delivery service. And they're hiring now. Visit the QR code on your screen to apply. Growing your family, opening your own business, retiring to travel, leaving your legacy. At Busey Bank, we know there's a lot to look forward to and a lot of planning along the way. Celebrate your life's milestones by putting your money to work. Busey Bank, building business, growing wealth since 1868. Member FDIC. The Muhammad Seymour High School Athletic Boosters are proud to continue their support of 20 sport programs that make up MSHS Bulldog Athletics. They thank you for your continued support, and go Bulldogs!
All right, welcome back, folks. Second half is going to be underway here in just a few seconds. Stay tuned, post game, the Coach Risley post game show. We probably won't talk to Coach much because I think he's going to bring up all of his seniors, and we're going to we're going to chat with the seniors here on Senior Night. Bulldogs with possession. Durbin Thomas over to Ward. Ward drives and kicks out to DeWitt. Back over to Thomas. Bulldogs swinging the ball around the perimeter. Trying to find an open shot down low. Ward in the corner. Ward drawn up and off the glass. It's good. Yeah, big shout out to our seniors this year. I think nearly all of them have put in four years of Bulldog basketball. There's Dallas with the three, no good. We've got Durbin Thomas, Elena DeWitt, Emma Dallas, Chloe Pruitt, Abby Bunting, Sydney Ward, Savannah Orgeron, and Kennedy Granadino. Big thank you to our seniors. There's DeWitt for three, and it's good. Three three-pointers and nine points for Elena DeWitt. And there we go. Elizabeth, excuse me, Elizabeth Suisse with the jump shot there. Or Charleston nearly had a steal there. And Ordron with a eight foot jumper is good. She's got eighteen points. Three-pointer here by Charleston. Almost. Rebound. Puts it back up. No good. Ordron with the rebound. Kicks it out to Durbin Thomas. Gives it back to Ordron. And it's going to be Bulldog ball. Durbin Thomas at the top of the key for three. No good. Rebound. Orgeron puts it up and off the glass. Offensive rebound. And two more points for Orgeron. She's got 22 18 post game. Coach Drizzly, post game show. With all the seniors should be a good time. There's Emma Dallas on the feed from Durbin Thomas. And Dallas with nine points for the Bulldogs. Elizabeth Suisse, the freshman, with another jump shot. She's their leading scorer with four points. Durbin Thomas for three. It's up. No good. Rebound Logsdon for the Trojans.
Shot by Suisse is over the backboard, out of bounds. Got Ellie Dallas into the game. Reese Gallier into the game for the Bulldogs. Battle for the ball here. 317 left in the third quarter. Bulldogs in full command. Thanks for tuning in to Bulldog TV. Glad to have you here tonight. I'd like to thank the crew. Brody running the show. And we've got uh, Alex Ziggler, excuse me, Alex Ziggler on the camera, Tyler Mackey on the camera, Ryan Ziggler on the camera. I think Mackey is now on the scoreboard. Well, thank you to the Bulldog TV crew. I'm Mike Gordon. Appreciate you tuning in on senior night here. And that was Elizabeth Suisse. Again, with a bucket for the Trojans. There's DeWitt for three, no good. Elizabeth Suisse has six points for Charleston. And Emma Dallas goes about five rows deep into the stands, trying to save that one. Charleston retains possession. Waldinger into the game for Sydney Ward. And Delena DeWitt on the breakaway. She's blocked. Rebounded by the Bulldogs. Ball still alive. Charleston comes away with it. And a deflection on Logsdon gets the pass. Shots no good. Rebound Trojans. And here comes Waldinger, kicks it out to Dallas. Lost the handle of it, out of bounds. Trojan ball. We are in a running clock situation here. Bulldogs up. Big. Or maybe it's not a running clock. The clock has stopped. I believe it's a running clock in the fourth quarter. Varsity girls have two more home games coming up. They got a stretch of road games. They go to Effingham on Saturday, and then they, uh, they got a couple more road games, and they're back home to face uh, normal U High, and then they end the regular season against Lincoln here at home. One more boys varsity basketball game. And that'll be it for the regular season in basketball. I believe the regionals will be held here in Muhammad. So once we get those pairings, stay tuned uh, on this week in Bulldog Athletics, Facebook and Twitter, and we'll Get you updated on all the postseason information. That was Fahrenbacher with the jumper for the Trojans. That's her first two points. With the exception of number 42, Annie Logsdon, she's a sophomore. The rest of the Trojans on the floor are freshmen. Dallas for three, no good. 15 seconds left, and another turnover. There's Emma Dallas.
And that ends the third quarter, folks. We got one more to go. Bulldogs up big, 66-9 in this Apollo Conference matchup between the Charleston Trojans and the Muhammad Seymour Bulldogs. Stay tuned post-game. We'll have the Coach Risley post-game show. And word on the street is he will bring all of his seniors up here, and we'll talk with them. So that should be, uh, should be a good time. That'll be right after the game. And as quick as they can get up here, we'll have the post-game show. Shout out to our Bulldog cheerleaders. Always do a fantastic job. Here we go, Waldinger. Sydney Ward with the jump shot, no good. We got to go in the other way. Ava Yankel with the foul. Dallas with the steal. Good defense by the Trojans. And a nice looking jump shot by Matty Ingram for the Trojans. Waldinger drives, gets fouled. She'll have two shots. Dallas drives, gonna take it all in. Nice move by Dallas. Could not get the bucket to go though. Fights for it, gets her own rebound. And she'll be rewarded with two shots. Elena DeWitt into the game for the Bulldogs. She comes in for Ellie Dallas. Logs in with the rebound and up and off the glass. She's got three points for the Trojans. Sydney Ward drives no good. Reese Gallier fighting for the Rebound under the basket. It'll be a jump ball. Charleston ball. We've got a running clock now. 4.26 left in this one. Stay tuned for the postgame show. Should be fun.
Grace Binkley into the game for the Bulldogs, number 23. Jump ball, Bulldog ball. Sydney Ward will take it out. Lena DeWitt for three. Fight for the rebound. Out of bounds on the Bulldogs. It'll be Charleston ball with 3.23 left in this game. Ball goes out of bounds and into the cafeteria. Commons, whatever you want to call it. All right, there we got it back now. Three minutes left in this one. Bulldogs up big. Running clock. Reese Geyer. Reese Geyer with her fourth point of the night. We got a travel call. Pretty good crowd here on senior night on this side of the court, camera side. There's quite a few people that are packed in here. It's good to see a good crowd to support these girls and these seniors. The girls have two more home games this year and then they'll host a regional. So make sure you come out and support these Bulldogs. Been playing pretty good, actually really well all year. They would like to have your support, especially come postseason. Two minutes, two by left in this one. Substitution for the Bulldogs, number 21, Savannah Orgeron, and number one, by Dallas. Rebound Ward off the glass. Yes. Sydney Ward with her fifth point for the Bulldogs. Yeah, it's going to be a foul on Sydney Ward. Clock is ticking, 45 seconds. Bulldogs up. Stay tuned. A couple minutes after the horn sounds, we'll have the post-game show with Coach Risley on the Coach Risley post-game show. Probably have all the seniors up here, so that should be, a, should be a good time. So stay with us. Don't turn the bat channel. Stay right here. We'll celebrate our seniors just a little bit longer up here on Bulldog TV and the post-game show. And that'll do it for this game. Bulldogs win 74 to 13. So we're going to get things situated up here, and we're going to have the post-game show coming up here in a couple minutes. Stay right here for the post-game show.
We good? All right. Hey, Coach Risley, welcome to your show. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for having us. Uh, nice win tonight. I just want to ask you one question, then we're going to talk to all these girls behind us. It looks like they're anxious to get on TV. So, Oh, yeah. What, the, what has this group of seniors meant to you? Yeah, they've meant a lot to the program as a whole. They're going to leave a – we talked about it a little bit, that they've already left a legacy, and they've given everyone in the community a lot to look, like, lot to look up to. But they're still hungry. They still want more. They're not done yet. They're still very entrenched into the season, and that's all that I can ask from this late in the year is for them to want more, to want to be here, not look elsewhere towards, you know, warmer weather, spring, other sports. They just want to be here for the girls, and I'm just excited to be a little bit of a part of it. Living in the moment. I love it. Very much so. I love it. Well, Coach, I'm going to send you on your way. We're going to talk to these girls. All right. Thank you. Yep, I appreciate thank you. it. Appreciate it. You want me to hand this to one of them? All right, we're joined here by all of the seniors. Uh, some of them have been, have been on here before. So what do you guys want to talk about? I don't know. I don't know. You guys are being shy now. You've got the coach out of here. You guys can say anything you want to to Bulldog Nation. They're listening, all 12 of them. I got it. I got, it. I got, it. I got, it. I got a question. I got a question. Who is most likely to shoot in the wrong basket amongst this group? I think Abby. Abby. So the, the, oh, the verdict you. here is Abby Bunting will shoot in the wrong basket. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's because she has so many steals all the time that yeah. uh, you know, she just doesn't know which basket's which. Um, come over here. Good game tonight. How'd you feel? Pretty good. Good? Yep. <laughs> Sydney? Good. Yeah. How'd that three pointer feel? Good. Real good. good. Yep. Good. Kennedy? Yeah. Every great team has a great person on the bench as a manager. You're the best I've ever seen. Thank you. You're the best manager. Thank you. I appreciate what do you, what do you it. About your fellow um, I just want all seven seniors to know that I love them very much and I'm very happy that I was able to be here the past four years with them. We love you, Kennedy. Okay, Kennedy just made them all cry now. <laughs> very nice words. Another question. Amongst this group, who is the class clown? I'm going to ask Chloe. Okay. Definitely Sam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sam for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Sam does the great friend. Okay, Savannah Orgeron is the class clown amongst this group. No surprise there, right? <laughs> who is the most competitive amongst this group? Who wants yeah. to? Who wants to? It, it, it can't. It cannot be Savannah this time. Emma. Emma? Yeah, she gets a little feisty. With her sister. Yeah. Oh, yeah, her siblings for sure. You fight with your sisters? Sometimes. At practice, yeah. <laughs> when I get mad. Well. When I get mad, I get a little aggressive. Okay. Okay. What else do I have here? Let's see. Oh, I got a good one. Who? Let's. Sydney, I'm going to have you answer this one. Who is most likely to forget their uniform? Um, I don't even know. I don't, probably Sav. I would say Sav. <laughs> no, Durbin. Oh, Durbin. 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 Oh, true, Durbin. She, yeah, that did happen the last Charleston game. Durbin, have you forgotten your uniform before? Not my uniform, but I have forgotten my spandex before. <laughs> so that was, yeah. Well. Chloe, are you? I was, a lot of people want to know. Are you okay? Uh, I'll be fine. <laughs> I've got a question for Chloe. If you're up for it, it's it's kind of a trick question. You don't have to answer it if you don't want to. Who's your favorite varsity boys basketball player? Oh, that's Adam. I'm gonna have to go with um, Adam Dyer. Adam Dyer. All right, there you go. Good choice. St sticking with family. <laughs> Not Luke. Chloe's got a couple of cousins on the varsity basketball team. That's why it was a trick question. She answered it well. CP14 always delivers. Uh, anybody else want to say anything? It's your night. Yeah. Durbin Thomas. Go Bulldog Nation. Woo! <laughs> Elena DeWitt. We over me. Yeah, I like that. I like it.
We got that dub on senior night, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> She's a class clown, right? All right, we'll, we'll pass on Abby. She's got to collect herself. She's laughing too hard. Kennedy? Uh, just make sure you always live that YOLO life. Yeah. There you go. You only live once. Chloe? Um, I love all you guys and um, wouldn't want to do it with anyone else. Go Bulldogs. Very nice. Sydney Ward? Um, I'm just glad to be with y'all. Bulldog Nation, let's ride. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Can I use that? Yeah. I didn't start it, so. <laughs> Just good game, ladies. All right, so there are your seniors on the girls' varsity basketball team. Got a few more games left in this regular season. Uh, got the postseason host regionals, right? Let's pack the stands here on re and regionals. We'll get those assignments sometime here soon. Uh, come out and support these girls. They're a lot of fun to watch. They got a lot of energy, and we hope to be watching you guys well into the postseason. So thanks for coming up. Congratulations on the W for senior night on senior night. And uh, go Bulldogs, right? Yeah. All right, yeah. thanks for joining us. Thank you. <laughs> okay, folks, what a, what a group. What a group. Uh, that'll do it here on Senior Night. Bulldogs win big over Charleston Trojans. Thanks for tuning in to Bulldog TV. For the crew tonight, uh, Rody on the controls, Ryan Ziegler, Alex Ziegler, and um, Tyler Mackey all helping us out. I'm Mike Gordon. So long, and until next time, go Bulldogs. She can shoot from behind the arc, and she shows that she can. Dallas in the paint, gets it to go. Elena DeWitt for three, it's up, and it's good. Elena DeWitt. Pushes it up, off the glass, no good. Orgeron gets it to go. To our seniors, that for three, and it's good. Three three-pointers and nine points for Elena to win. Ooh, in and out by Dallas. Rebound, Ward off the glass. Yes, just the layup. <laughs>